guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea, and I'm currently on the bus to Tulum from Cancun. It's a three hour drive, but it's not too bad. I haven't had any breakfast this morning, so I'm a little bit hungry. I did buy a muffin at the um, bus station. Um, so, those of you who don't know, I'm normally vegan, but I think it's going to be very difficult to be vegan in Mexico, so I'm just going to be vegan when I can and then vegetarian if there's nothing else. I have got a muffin and some lemon water um, for breakfast. But yeah, it's currently on the way to the room, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to go to the snowy See you when I get there. Okay, so I got to my hostel about two hours ago, but check-in wasn't until three, so I just sort of sat around the pool, had some lunch, and then just <laughs> waited basically to be able to check in. I've just checked in, and how nice is this place? Like this is the room and I've got a bottom bunk which is nice um, and it's like concrete or whatever so it's like proper nice bunk beds. The mattress I haven't actually sat on it yet but it seems to be okay. Um, you have like a shelf with a plug and a light and then you have a shelf at the end of the bed. This the bed looks very lovely. And I'm in a mixed bedroom so there's like I want to say like 12 beds because there's six down this side and then another six down this side little monkey there and these are our lockers these are actually huge I'll show you inside mine it fits my whole bag in it very comfortably um, and then it's got this little shelf up here it's also got a plug so I'm just charging my iPad at the moment um, but yeah like you have a plug in your locker so good so if you don't want your stuff to get stolen overnight then you can just put it in there yeah, they don't come with locks so this is my own lock that i brought from home um i recommend getting one of these ones that have the wire because then they fit in like all lockers um but yeah the lockers are absolutely huge and just some hooks and i don't know where the lights are for the showers but the showers look oh there it is how nice do these showers look I mean, I haven't used it yet, but they even provide soap. Nice little changing area with um, someone's boxes. Nice. <laughs> um, and then bathroom tool. Just a toilet. Standard bathroom. Water, again, has soap. We spoil here. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the room. I'll show you the rest of the hostel a bit later. As well, this room only cost, how much was it? It was like um, 900 and something pesos. I paid for four nights. £33.70 for four nights. Like the rest of the hostel was really nice. The bed so far seems great. We each have a little privacy curtain as well. So you can literally like lock yourself away from the world. Huge lockers. Feels safe here. Like there's... A gate to the front of the hostel and then like another door that you have to use your key to get into to get to the rooms um so it's all very secure it's good i'm excited to stay here so this is just outside my room that's my room there like a nice little relax area this is really good i think i'll probably be able to do my teaching here hopefully people won't mind me talking um there's loads of rooms here like it goes really high up it's a huge hostel i don't realize how big it is Clandestino, 
um, which is like right next door here, but they said that it's shut down and it won't be open for like another year. Um, so we've come to this one. It's like a restaurant. You have to buy a drink or something to go in the snow taste. So we're gonna have a look at the menu. We all live on town to borrow. Time our children to us lend. Here today, but gone tomorrow. Like a spark fly. in Tulum and yes it was beautiful but we didn't have a guide so we didn't really know what we were looking at. It's 80 pesos to get in which is about £2.80 and with a guide it will cost a lot more than that and we didn't really care to get a guide but if you are interested in learning about the history it might be worth it. There are plaques that you can read from but I can't say that I did that either. We just walked around, enjoyed the view and then wanted to get out of the sun. After that we went to a vegan food truck called Lives. I had these tacos and I would definitely recommend this place. Um, with a couple of friends that I met at the hostel. I'll just show it to you now. It looks insane. Oh, there she is. There's a bench over there. Can I see so my phone? Beautiful. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I will put it up in the corner so you can see the name. come to Grand Cenote, um, so it's like one of the most famous cenotes in Tulum. Um, so yeah, we're about to go in, we need to shower first. Is it cold? No. Ooh, that's chilly. <laughs> The life vest. Do we just have to put them on? I think we just have to grab one. Oh, he's gonna get them to us. Potentially. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It looks like it goes quite far back, but um, it's very different to how I thought it was going to look. Um, yeah, you can hire a snorkel here, and you can hire a locker for 30 pesos. Very cute, but yes, yeah, so you have to wear a life jacket um, to go in the salute. You also have to wash your hair as well before you go in, so now I look like a little niño, but <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Paula and Alex to go and rinse their hair because um, I rinsed my hair but they didn't so um, I don't think I rinsed it properly, I literally just stood under the shower, it's still kind of dry at the back um, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs>
to Cenote Calavera, I think it's pronounced, and we get here and the guys like, take a shower. So we're gonna go take a shower. <laughs> Cenote Escondido and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to jump in because it's very hot and it's a very long walk from the car to Thanks for watching. Bye.